Okay, so packages came in and we're gonna unbox it really quick here. Uh, I'm actually excited about this and I'm gonna show you why right now. Okay, so I ordered an, a Lenovo Re a Legion laptop. And the reason why is there was a sale on their website. And yeah, so I needed uh, a laptop so that I could do some editing. Um, with Premiere and unfortunately the one I have in the household right now is several years old and really struggles with uh, Premiere. Uh, and it also frankly struggles with pretty much anything else I wanna do. It doesn't matter if it's gaming or just simple uh, editing or you know just anything at this point. Uh, it's I wanna say it's six years old, it's an old Asus. It was great at the time, just no longer is relevant. So I ordered this Lenovo Legion uh, laptop because it did a crazy flash sale on it. I was like, well, heck, this is a great opportunity. So let's see what they sent. I'm excited. Okay, so kind of looking at this here, uh, I noticed that this is actually packaged pretty well. So let's go ahead and take this out. And wow. Okay, first look, uh, I'm not sure what all we got here, but if this looks very well packaged, I'm very impressed. So let's actually take out this. And we'll come back to it. And then I'm assuming this is the laptop. Ooh, look at that. So I, first thing I'm gonna say is this thing was packaged really well. It came via UPS and I'm not a big fan of their service, but this thing has got some nice thick foam. It's very compact. They did a great job packaging this. That's the first thing I'm gonna notice. And then whatever this is, I'm assuming this is the charger, was on the side. So let's see what's inside this. Yep. Standard power cable and power supply. Well, I guess we're gonna need that. And let's get this undone real quick here. Oops, I'm so excited. I love when you find good deals on tech and it's something that you actually need. All right, very simple. Nice little brick. Oh, whatever. Try to be excited over little things, right? Now I am saving the box just because you never really know what could happen. So let's see what we got here. So I hate the reflection of the lights on this, but that's all right. Ha, huh, so much better. Wait a minute orange overhead light. And let's take off the packaging material here. I'm gonna have to say, I'm actually pretty impressed with their packaging job that they did. And if we turn it around so we can read it, Legion, very clean. I'll pop this. Ooh, see we got decent little presentation within. So before we get to the main event, let's see what else we got here. Safety and warranty guide. Okay, is there anything else in this box? Oh, we have a setup guide in case you just don't know how to turn on a laptop, which, you know, I guess some people don't, but that's all right. So I'm going to put this and this back in there. I don't think there's anything else in this box. No, nope. very cleanly done. Oh man, this is, you know what? I'm gonna say, I've never purchased a Lenovo laptop before. I think they're more known for business. But holy buckets, is this a clean presentation? I think it's very well. All right, so. Oh, look at that, more. More safety material. Ultimate support. Legion. I guess it should be read Legion. Ultimate support. Enjoy ultimate support and coverage at no cost. Dedicated 24-7 phone or live chat. Prioritized on-site service delivery. Experienced technicians with gaming expertise. I guess that should be interesting. I'm not sure if that set to some aside, but whatever. Hardware and software support. Expert advice on hardware optimization. Keep yourself in the game with Legion Ultimate Support. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'll take that. I'm gonna put that back in the box as well. And I suppose we should probably get this thing connected. All right, so here's what we got. Power button. 
Ooh, pretty. It's got lights. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I did not fully look at all the specs when I ordered this just because I was like, you know, that's a great deal. And I'm going to go ahead and get this thing ordered. Now, while it's booting up, I'm going to show something here. Let's zoom in. It comes with the 10th gen i9 you know, GeForce in, uh, NVIDIA GeForce RTX. Now this comes with the 2080 Max-Q Super. And this actually comes with the Intel 10H, I believe it's a 10850HK, if I remember correctly, and I will show that here on the screen in just a little bit. I don't know what all the computer is doing here. I don't know if it just doesn't have enough power to power up yet or what the scoop is, but, oh, maybe it's doing something. Oh, there we go. Legion. Hi there. I'm Cortana. Whoa. And I'm here to help. Cortana is here to help. Sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Whoa. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Let's give this a try. Let's see what happens. Set to the United States. Is that right? Yes. Oh, it took a little moment there. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. Okay, so while well, it's doing some important setups. This actually, it comes with the 10th generation Core i9 10900HK yeah, processor. Let's see what's new from Windows. Whoa, let's see what's new. Next up, the legal stuff. In short, you'll need to select accept to use Windows. You can decline. Okay, let's just go past that. <laughs> Want to set up a pin? No. She's not listening. What do I do now? These are the settings Microsoft oh. recommends. Go ahead and review them and select accept when you're ready. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. No. 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 Well, let's see. What is this? No. Ha ha. They ain't getting Jack from me. Based on the activities you choose here, you will get a personalized experience as you set up your device. Whoa. <laughs> hey, look, that's me, Cortana. <gasps> I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? Uh, no. Your device manufacturer Damn, Cortana's nosy. info to send you updates and such. You can't look at this stuff. I ain't doing none of that stuff, Lenovo. No, you cannot. That doesn't hurt. Okay, I'll let it have my information for the Almost device. Done but now. <gasps> we just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. Very interesting. So this actually came with Windows 10 Home. I don't need the Pro version because, you know, don't really care. But so far, the setup was interesting. I've never actually used voice setup for anything. What else we got up here? Oh, this must be the camera. Let's take that off. Okay, while this is setting up, uh, I'm just gonna point out right here that this, the specs of this machine are this, and this is a nice machine. Uh, I'll put it up on the screen here for you. It is the Legion 7i 15 inch. It comes with the 10th generation Core i9 9, I'm sorry, 10 980HK processor. Um, it does come with Windows 10 Home 64, 32 gigabytes of DDR4-2933 memory, two 16 gig uh, chips or sticks, so that's good. It comes with one terabyte PCIe SSD as well as a 512 gigabyte PCI SSID uh, or SSD. So that's, you know, it's got one and a half terabytes of, of storage uh, and it's SSD. So that that's good. Um, let me see here. It comes with their 15.6 inch FHD 1920 by 1080 IPS anti-glare with Dolby Vision HDR 400, 500 nits, 240 hertz display. 
That's a mouthful. Powered by the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Super Max Q 8 gigabyte card. So not bad. Uh, I would prefer a, you know, 3080 in there, but that's okay. I'm sure they don't, you know, this has been out for a little bit, probably why the sale was there. It does come with one year uh, Legion Ultimate support warranty. It's got a 720p HD camera on board, and we'll see if that works. Uh, RGB backlit uh, keyboard, I honestly never even noticed that, but what is nice is this does have 802.11ax Wi-Fi built in and Bluetooth 5.0. The AC adapter is a 230 watt adapter, and there's no fingerprint reader available on this one, which I'm okay with that. So I'm pretty excited over this due to the massive discount that they had available. It was $900 off, so I'm very happy. All right, so we're actually in here and we can see right off the bat that uh, it says that it likes this new browser, it's recommended by Microsoft, so that's wonderful and dandy and all that fun stuff. So do I want in inspirational, informational, or focused? Ooh, I'm gonna go with inspirational because that looks like fun, uh, because I don't really care either. Your favorites, passwords, history, and any more on your device. Okay. And here we go, we're logged into Edge. So my first impression is this is a pretty nice uh, little system. So I don't know what this X-Rite Color Assistant is, but let's go ahead and I'll take a look at that later. Um, remind me later. So right off the bat, my first impression is, is it immediately synced my desktop, which I am glad for. I actually like that, That that's pretty cool. And this is a 1080p uh, monitor. Uh, what I do want to do, however, is get everything updated on this. I'm going to get some games loaded and we will come back to this and talk about performance um, and see how it, this does for gaming and music listening and all that fun stuff. Okay, so I got everything up and running here. Um, the setup wasn't that bad, actually. I'm not a big fan of using the Windows tutorials, and uh, but I just did so for some fun and I thought it was kind of interesting. Um, my first impressions of the laptop are this. Uh, and actually, I'm gonna go a little beyond first impressions because I have used this for a little bit now. Um, this is a few days later, actually. Started the uh, setup and came back to this because I wanted to use it. So um, first off, um, the screen's really nice. This has got their higher end screen. I'm gonna post all the specs here to the entire laptop uh, again so you can see what the whole thing is. But uh, this is definitely their top end uh, gaming laptop that they offer as this Legion 7i. And it, as far as a gaming laptop goes, it's actually really nice. And I like the fact that it's kind of simple. It doesn't, it's not overpowering with the, you know, the, the weight and the thickness of it. it. I mean, it's not a full discrete GPU. It is the um, uh, 2080 Max-Q, but does a great job. Um, <clears throat> first off, I'm gonna show you, just, uh, you know, let's go into one of uh, my videos, yeah, I guess. 60 frames per second. And Ultra settings plus. Nice and clean. Yeah. Let me see here. Super card should so be switched over to 4K. Now, this is not a 4K screen. This is a so 1080p games, screen, but nice and clean, right? It looks good. The volume, I feel like I'm almost shouting right now because I've got this volume and this thing has got some serious speakers, I noticed. So I'm at 58% right now. So using it, I mean, it, it's awesome, but I mean, just give you an idea for Their you doing, I'm gonna creep this thing up. They are the only and I literally like, feel uh, like, the ability for you to set up I have to shout over this so thing. I mean, this thing is box. loud. These speakers, they sound clear. Uh, they sound great. Then you go and, um, and, and it's just, it, it's a really nice setup. So what I'm gonna do here is let's go over and I'm gonna use one of my uh, subscriptions that I use for <clears throat> my audio content so I don't have any uh, issues with uh, copyright infringement and all that stuff. So here's something that I, that I can use for my channel. Um, and this is uh, some music that, you know, actually I probably use it in one of my videos in the past. I, I like this one. And um, I mean, it sounds great. So here, I'll give you a quick uh, glimpse into what the audio sounds like. We're at ninety-two percent. I mean, for a laptop, the speakers sound fantastic. They don't sound distorted whatsoever, and I literally feel like I have to raise my voice in order to be heard above it. So we're going to turn that down for the background. Um, so speaker-wise, sounds great. The screen looks really good. 
I do, uh, the, the brightness is very simple to adjust. Everything is based upon function commands, right? So, uh, which this will affect battery life. Now, I'm, I'm going to go into something here real quick. Uh, I've been using this for a few days now, and plugged in, this thing is amazing. On battery life, um, it's rough. And what I mean by it's rough is the performance is good. They don't seem to kill the, the performance that much. I mean, they do downgrade the video and, and audio and all the, the or the, uh, uh, the CPU performance. They, they, you know, they taper those all back, but the battery life is pretty rough. And like, if you want to play a game, you might get 30 minutes of playtime before the battery literally dies. If you want to just watch YouTube, you get about an hour and a half and just literally doing nothing else with YouTube. But if you, the minute you start using a browser, you're going to cut that down to about 45 minutes of actual usage time. That's not even gaming. That's just literally browsing the internet, like Amazon or whatever the case may be. Uh, battery life is my literally my only real complaint to this machine. I mean, the rest of it is amazing, but the battery life is horrendous. I mean, like literally horrendous. So if you need a laptop, to function as a laptop and not be plugged in, this is not the laptop for you straight out. But if you don't mind being on power, this thing's amazing. I mean, every, it's really rigid. Um, like it feels great. The keyboard, a lot of my, one thing I really don't like about a lot of keyboards is they are, uh, they don't feel good, right? They're spongy or they're overly clicky, clicky in, in the sense of like you put, have to put some serious pressure into it. And so you end up missing um, typing. Well, in this thing, uh, it just, it feels nice. It, I don't want to say it feels like a mechanical keyboard, but it almost does in some ways. Uh, it's very distinct. Well, it's very good for a laptop. Um, you know that you've pressed your keys. You don't feel like you're missing them. Uh, I do wish that the numpad was a little larger. When I play, a lot of times I will map keys to the numpad, and that's kind of how I play over even more so than using a mouse. That's my style of play. Um, but that's just, the, you know, again, that's my preference. Um, let's jump into a game here real quick. I'm going to minimize this. I already have this one up. Just to give you an idea. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to use, I, I like using Star Wars of the Old Republic as kind of my go-to for showing performance because it, this um, not only uses your GPU pretty well, but it really taxes your CPU. So this will give you an idea as to what kind of performance you can get out of um, an MMO that actually, and it's, a, it's an engine, uh, it's called the Hero Engine. Lots of complaints about it because it's, it's seriously got some issues. Um, this is not the world's greatest um, CPU by whatever, for any means, uh, or, or I'm sorry, not the greatest uh, engine by any means because of a lot of the bugs and stuff. I, I don't know why they didn't try a different engine uh, for the MMOs, but you know, whatever. Um, but right now, it's probably hard to see, but we are sitting at, a, at, you know, just sitting here at 190 frames a second. This is a pretty intense area on Alleron. Uh, this is where one of my strongholds are and I will tell you that this thing feels very very smooth uh, in fact I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you can see the game a little bit better we're actually going to go over to um, uh, an area so you can kind of see what it looks like while I'm zooming in okay pretty straightforward so you can see right off the bat where my uh, frames per second are sitting and I've got the um, Graphics set at uh, high settings, um, which is kind of surprising that it functions as well as it does with these settings. But I mean, everything is super smooth. Now the can fans definitely do kick in. I'm not sure if you can hear them, but that's fine. I mean, that doesn't bother me. In fact, I'm gonna turn up the audio for the game here a little bit. And the spatial sound in this thing for a, uh, a game like this, I think is, is just great. I'm gonna grab a couple missions here. Uh oh, 
Oh, I forget. Oh, this one. Uh, my, <laughs> pardon my interruption. We, are we, we came on the. Okay, let's go down here and and do this. Now, I will say also, I typically play with a game pad, uh, the Razer Orb Weaver, St Orb Weaver Stealth, and then a mouse uh, like this, which is the leader. And I usually use it wirelessly, but it's uh, for MMOs. I love this mouse just because of all the programmability to it. Uh, I just find I am able to play faster, especially like if I'm doing in-game content like raids or if I'm doing any PVPing where, you know, I need to be able to react quickly. With the numpad, as small as it is here, it makes it hard for me to hit everything accurately all the time. But um, it's, you know, it's not horrible. There are others out there that are a lot worse than this one. A good example would be any of the uh, Asus ones. It's unfortunate because the Asus ones, I will say the battery life is a lot better. Um, but I just, I don't like how their keyboards are set up at all, at least from my personal preference. So just to give you an idea, what this looks like, we're just in a, you know, a simple battle here. And the frames per seconds definitely drop, which is fine, but you know, 95, 100, whatever. I mean, these are great frames. And I mean, this is a pretty, Good area for graphics, as you can tell. I mean, this this looks great, and it's super smooth. Like, there's no stuttering, there's no tearing of the screen. Um, and right now, I'm playing wirelessly too, which is really important to to know. So, completed that. So just to give you an idea of what it looks like in a, a simple battle, but I mean, look at the surroundings. Just, everything looks beautiful. It's, and it's, I mean, just super smooth. So I, I like that. Now, here's the next question. Can this run a game like, say, Cyberpunk? Well, let's find out. Okay, so this is the first time I've launched uh, Cyberpunk on this, so we're actually learning how this functions together. I honestly don't know what the settings are set at. The um, audio is brutally loud, actually. You see my frames a second in this in, uh, intro? Looks pretty brutal here, actually. So let's turn this down a little bit. Oh, yeah, we're at 48. Let's do this. Okay, so we're in, in here. So. Intro screen, I mean, I think that really matters, 250 frames per second. Let's see what it's got the settings at, just right off the bat. Okay. Graphics. So quick preset is ray tracing ultra. Texture quality is high. Field of view 80, film grain, every, I mean, it looks like, wow. I mean, everything's pretty much set at high, it looks like. Ray tracing is on. DLSS is set to auto. Uh, dynamic fidelity is off. Static fidelity is off. Hmm. Well, let's see what it's like. So we're just going to go with these. Why not? Uh, I did load us. All I've done so far is load this game uh, on another computer. So I haven't really used it here yet. Uh, and I've not played the game yet. So I have no idea what to expect. Hopefully this thing isn't uh, too graphic for um, whomever may be watching this. Looks like it's settling into about 60 frames a second right off the bat. Holy. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Ooh. 50 frames a second. Okay, so we're in the bathroom, huh? Ooh. I mean, visually, again, I haven't played this game. 
This thing looks really nice. We're heading to Jenkins' office. And it's sitting at 56 frames a second with on uh, ray tracing ultra settings. Everything else seems to be at high. Let's answer his phone call. All right, we're getting yelled at. Wow. Language in this thing is kind of rough. I think we're going to have to edit out some of the language here. Holy. I mean, this has got pretty good looking graphics. 52 frames a second. Okay, oh, what's up, dude? I mean, this thing feels really smooth. I mean, I, I'm, I would have no idea this is at 50 frames a second and not, you know, 60 or 65. Just playing around. Come on, let's go. Oh, I'm getting scanned or something. Ooh, okay, come on. Must be Jenkins. Oh, he's kind of pushing, huh? Take a sec. All right. Well, we'll use that as an example anyway for uh, how um, the game looks right off the bat. Obviously, again, I'm sure that there's more areas of the game that are much more graphics intensive than this is. But um, I'm going to go ahead and quit the game. Confirm. I think it looks really good. So playing a game, um, <clears throat> computer, I mean, both Star Wars, which is really CPU intensive along with graphics intensive. Looked awesome, Star Wars The Old Republic. We got into Cyberpunk just to see what it looked like real quick. Again, I have not played the game, so I'm not gonna pretend like, oh, this is, I'm gonna know everything about it. However, just my initial reaction was, wow, it was really smooth in just the intro area and at least playing around a little bit 50 to 60 frames a second most of the time there, which again, ray tracing, ultra settings and high on everything else. Back those down, I'm sure the frames are just gonna go up. That's just kind of how it works, right? Um, speakers are absolutely amazing. Uh, it has the look of a business laptop, uh, which I really like that more so than it looking like a gaming laptop per se. Now I'm gonna show you a couple other things here. This did come loaded with Corsair's IQ, which was interesting because that's one of the two ways that you can set and customize lighting on the computer because it does have RGB lighting and, and it looks clean, it looks really nice. I'm gonna go over this here in a second, but in Corsair, IQ, which again, I'm not a big fan of this, but it works really well for this, so I'm, I'm completely okay with it this time. Um, I just have an issue when, it, when you have Asus motherboard and it immediately ties to that and you can't use any other RAM other than Corsair's RAM, which is ridiculous because I don't use Corsair's RAM. Whoops, I didn't want space, I wanted this. So you can control the graphics, or, or I'm sorry, the lighting, but just going in here and and playing around, I created the, the lighting effect that's right there where it's toggling between uh, this gradient that I created, which, you know, whatever, I, I like it. Um, you could also shut this off and I'm going to show you what that looks like because the generic lighting that comes with it is really clean. Um, it's got a couple different modes and to toggle between the modes, I mean, first off, I'm gonna show you something is to uh, adjust your lighting. You've got this, we'll get rid of the, your lighting for your keyboard in general but it can get pretty bright. Okay, so right off the bat, this is what this looks like. To toggle your different uh, modes, it's just your function. You've got your lighting key on the, on the space bar here. So you got some sort of a circular rainbow mode. You've got uh, what appears to be uh, one where it's like, like a starlet, if you will. Uh, I, don't, I can't think of what they call it, like a ripple while you're typing, which, you know, it's always fun. You've got another one that seems just kind of be a little bit random. Things are kind of all over the place, which is, I like that one as well. You have a, a static, uh, which looks nice and clean. I like it. And then you have your, um, goes back to your total RGB setting. Um, that's what comes with the keyboard right off the bat, which I, again, I like that. I still do use the, um, the Corsair IQ just for programming for how it, uh, I like it. Uh, one thing that is really nice with this too is it's really got a clean look. I mean, you've got it across the keyboard, you've got it across the back, and it's it's very 
uh, nice looking. It's a, it's a clean aesthetic. Uh, and I'll show you that here. So as you can see, it's a really clean keyboard. Um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna wrap up my thoughts on it. If you like to use a laptop and you need to travel and you're able to plug in at all times, this is a great machine. I mean, it's powerful. Uh, I am actually uh, editing the, this video on uh, this and it did a great job. Um, as you can see, because, you know, I think my videos are amazing. <laughs> Hopefully you think so too. Um, it does a great job of gaming, which is what it's made for, right? So it, it conquers that. Um, I only played a couple tougher, you know, one Cyberpunk, which is a, is a hard title for any computer to play at all. Uh, and then Star Wars The Old Republic, uh, Old Republic, but you know, pretty much just can play anything else. I mean, a lot of these games are a lot easier on CPU and uh, GPUs now. I mean, if you're playing your PUBG and Fortnite and Overwatch, that kind of stuff, well, it's gonna destroy that stuff. If you want your AAA content, that's gonna be a little more difficult. Well, as you can see with this uh, Cyberpunk, it did a great job of at least the intro portion of the game, it looked amazing. Um, the only downside, like I said, I have with this computer at all, and this is me shutting off the, the lighting, turning the screen uh, display brightness all the way down. It's got its own performance mode that it sets it in when it's on on uh, battery power. It's the battery life on this computer is absolutely horrendous. It is nowhere near what it says it's capable of on their website. It just isn't. It's horrible, 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 horrible. But that's my only complaint, which frankly I suppose for a laptop is a pretty big complaint. But if, again, if you're able to plug it in, and I, I use it plugged in, so it's fine. Um, it's awesome. It simply is. Now, if you need something that's going to give you better battery life for actual gaming and being used as a laptop, being used portable, not plugged in, again, this is not the computer for you. Hands down, don't buy this thing if that's what your intention is, because you will be utterly disappointed. Uh, you'll probably want to throw it through the wall and go buy something else, because it just, the battery life sucks, just straight up sucks. However, we're gonna move beyond that negative. Everything else about this thing I really like. Speakers are fantastic, fantastic. The connectivity is is decent. I would like a you know one or two more USB ports. It comes with three uh, USB uh, 3.0 ports, or I'm sorry, 3.2 ports actually. It's got an HDMI out, which is useful for a display, which is, you know, that's fine. Uh, Ethernet port, which is great, uh, and it does have uh, two USB-C uh, uh, ports as well. So connectivity is okay. It's, it's you know, it works. That's fine. Uh, keyboard, great. Display is great. Uh, the only problem I deal with is I get a lot of gunk and stuff on the screens and that kind of drives me nuts. I'm a little overboard when it comes to keeping my uh, monitors clean, screens clean, but you know, that's all right. Anyway, um, beyond that, I love this laptop. This is what I use for my daily driver right now. Uh, if you are okay with plugging in, buy this thing. If you do not want to plug it in, you want to use a laptop, don't buy this thing. Buy anything but this because it's battery life, again, is horrendous. My only complaint, which again, depends upon if it's major to you or not. For me, it works fine. Uh, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, it was meant to be a fun little review. Uh, experience of a gaming laptop that's not, you know, Asus or MSI or one of those out there with the full discrete GPUs. This is with the 2080 Max-Q again, and it is an awesome little laptop. I love this 15 inch screen, so, and the setup. Um, hopefully you liked today's video. If you did, you know what to do. If you didn't like it, you know what else to do. We'll put something that. Hit the subscribe button for me as it does help my can uh, channel grow, and I appreciate it, all that fun stuff. We will see you in the next one. Thanks, bye. Oh, yeah. Level.